Hi, I'm Ross Benjamin reporting for the Offshore Gaming Association. That's OSGA.com, your number one source for information on the offshore sportsbook industry. That's OSGA.com. I'm going to be previewing a Friday, August the 17th NFL preseason game between the Buffalo Bills and the Cleveland Browns being played in Cleveland. Uh, the opening kickoff slated for 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And in case you're wondering, this game will be televised by the NFL Network. Currently, as we speak, and I'm recording right now on Wednesday the 15th, the Cleveland Browns are a 3.5 point home favorite. And the total in this game is 40.5. Cleveland's coming off a 20-10 to 10 win at the New York Giants last week. Uh, easily winning and covering, and while the Buffalo Bills dropped a 28-23 decision at home to the Carolina Panthers in a game that was ultra ultra entertaining for a preseason game. Now the quarterbacks uh, for both teams played very well in their opening preseason games. The combination of Nathan Peterman, who started the game, backup veteran A.J. McCarron. I don't know if he's going to be a backup yet, but he was the second in line to play last week. And then rookie seven, first round draft choice, seventh overall, Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills. Those three quarterbacks combined to go 25 out of 39 for 351 yards, two touchdowns against just one interception. Meanwhile, starter Tyrod Taylor and first overall draft pick quarterback Baker Mayfield, they weren't too bad either. Taylor, 5 out of 5, 99 yards and one touchdown and limited duty. Well, Baker Mayfield was really impressive in his outing. Uh, his pass completion rate wasn't great, but he certainly threw for uh, a good amount of yards as he was 11 for 20 for 212 yards two touchdowns zero interceptions rushed for another 13 yards kept plays alive with his legs and certainly didn't look intimidated whatsoever uh, in his first appearance in an NFL game albeit at a preseason game now both offenses really racked up some yards. The Bills, 430 yards of total offense last week against Carolina, 338 of those coming in the air, while the Cleveland Browns, they totaled 372 yards with 322 coming in the air. I look for a lot of the same on Friday night. What really impressed me about Buffalo, uh, this is a team that's going to be challenged offensively uh, when the regular season play starts. But, you know, in the preseason, I was really impressed by Brian Dable's uh, play calling uh, against a vanilla defense like Carolina. And they'll continue to see vanilla defenses throughout the preseason. They showed a lot of formations. Uh, they showed a lot of different sets. And they showed some imagination, which is very odd uh, in an NFL preseason game. And then, you know, the Cleveland Browns, they moved the ball consistently last week against the Giants probably should have scored more than 20 points and on the flip side of things the bills gave up a lot of yards especially in the second half their third team defense and players vying for spots at the end of the roster really didn't perform well i see this as another high scoring entertaining nfl preseason game on cleveland on friday night uh, the weather will clear up midday. The weather conditions will be fine at kickoff time. I like Buffalo and Cleveland to go over the total of 40 and a half. Be sure to visit my website. That's rbwins.com where you pay a little to make a lot. And folks, since 2012, my NFL preseason picks have gone 50 and 36. That's 58%. Not much better than that when you look around the globe here as far as sports handicappers go at preseason time. Also, be sure to, to uh, consider subscribing with me. I mean, I finished last football season on an 18-2 and two roll. That's combination college football and the NFL. I have the best September record in the NFL over the last eight years of anybody in the world. And that's documented over at sportscapping.com. Again, folks, that's rbwins.com. Until we meet again, good luck with all your picks.